Hi, I'm Jared Graber with Dynamax. We're out here at the 10th Annual Dealer Open House. Units are sitting tall, so we figured uh, we'd give you a few walkthroughs of our products here. To start with, we're going to do the 24FW Isada 3 Series and give you some uh, highlights of our construction and the features both inside and outside of the coach. Uh, with all Dynamax products, you're going to get an industry best paint job. Uh, you can go online and view the video either through our website or through YouTube, but uh, here's a good chance to see the khaki paint scheme on the Isada 3 Series. What sets us apart uh, in the paint process is just how much time is put into it. Okay, From the very beginning, the raw fiberglass is sanded down just to make sure the paint has teeth and you have proper paint adhesion, but also to make sure we have the smoothest sidewalls in the industry. Okay, Then we go into the actual paint masking process. You know, On these Mercedes products, that have true drop shadows, hand done drop shadows in your paint is unique. And then what really sets us apart is uh, at the end, after the clear coat is baked on, we're going to uh, cut and buff the finished product. So they're sanding down the coach with 1,000 grit, 1,200 grit, 1,500 grit, 2,000 grit, and 4,000 grit. So that gets rid of that thin layer of uh, clear coat known as orange peel, so you have a deep lacquer-like high-end automotive finish to the paint job. Okay. Then in the front end here, we're going to diamond shield. Do a three-end diamond shield to your front end and your front wing panels to protect against any kind of rock chipping. It also makes it easier to wipe the clutch off at that point. As we walk down the coach, you'll see we do heavy duty aluminum running boards instead of fiberglass running boards that can sag on you over time or crack. If you look up top, you can actually see the one piece fiberglass rolled over the sidewalls. Dynamax is very unique in our roof construction. And we do have a plant uh, tour video that you can uh, take a look at it as well, but what that's going to show you is that you have two aluminum roof trusses up there that are crowned in shape. Fiberglass bat insulation, aluminum line ductwork, and then one piece fiberglass rolled over the top and it's not connected until you're over that sidewall. That means there's no top transition pieces up there. All frameless yeah. windows throughout the coach as well. They look better, they seal better, and you can have them open in the rain, which makes it nice. Okay. A huge selling point for our Isada line is our carefree latitude on it. You'll notice that it's dual pitch and armless. Dual pitch means natural rain shed and more shade throughout the day. Armless means there's nothing to bump your head on. Okay, the light strip is out in the roll bar as well. So, you know, you're not attracting bugs to your coach having it along the coach line. Okay. As we continue to walk through, you have a lighted entry handle to go with this. A huge practical benefit of the Isada 3 Series is the size of the LP tank. You know, versus competitors that do, you know, like a 13 gallon tank, we have a 20.3 gallon tank. That means longer generator run times off of that LP tank. Notice our doors as well. You have heavy duty aluminum doors with compression latches, and they're all side hinges, so you don't have to duck underneath those doors to gain access. You have you know, one storage bay on this side, but then the majority is on the other side as well. All Rotocast storage compartments. Uh, Rotocast, they can hold quite a bit of weight and they're not going to rust on you like metal box as well. Also on the camp side is going to be the access to your Truma uh, AquaGo system. Brian Clemens, our GM, did a wonderful how-to video on how to use this Truma system. And basically you pull this door off to turn it on and then you have this easy drain lever when it comes time to winterize. The big benefit of the Truma is on-demand endless hot water. So you're not having to take those Navy hot showers like you uh, might have to do with those six gallon systems. Uh, okay. The ride quality of a Dynamax Isada 3 is uh, going to be the best in the industry for a couple reasons. We put these Dynarag uh, labels on here basically to let you know that you have a massive rear sway bar, a Helwig sway bar back behind your rear tires. And that's going to get rid of that side-to-side -side body roll. So you're going to notice an increase in handling around corners, passing trucks, and high winds. And then we paired that with some uh, Bill Stein rear shock absorbers. So those are gas-charged shocks that, you know, they're not subject to heat dissipation. They're used in motorsports a lot. Uh, they last three to four times longer because of that. As we continue to make our way down the coach, you'll notice that we do not have an outside TV uh, standard. And we do that for a couple of reasons. People, you know, don't always want an outside TV. But if you do, we offer uh, standard, a 32-inch TV in the bedroom. Pops right off of its mount, and then you bring it out here, slide it on. Here are your plug-ins for that. And then down in here with your low-point drains is an LP Quick Connect, so you can grill out and watch the game there.
Okay, outside speaker zones as well will be connected to your stereo system. Side view and backup cameras do come standard and LED lights can be brought inside and outside the building. 5,000 pound hitch. We do use the Power Gear Slim Track uh, slide mechanism. Uh, it's a proven system with motors on each side, uh, really easy to use there. The cool thing about doing our, our paint, having paint in house, is the fact that we're able to paint the sides of the boxes before we lift them back in. That means we get the last six inches that no one else gets. So when you look back behind our seals, you see continued paint job. You're not going to get any overspray on your slide seals or see any ugly tape lines because of that. Finished fiberglass underbelly to your slides. So you're showing the attention to detail there. Now, looking at the different bays here, out here you're going to get an outside shower. You'll have a GFI in this bay as well. The all-in-one Anderson water management valve is really easy to use there too. Inside of here. And you'll notice again, all side hinging doors so you're not having to duck underneath. There is your uh, 3.6 kilowatt Cummins Zone and LP generator. Again, the big benefit with the Dynamax product is the bigger LP tank, so longer generator run times. When you look in here, you'll see your drain poles are actually gray and black, so pretty easy to determine which one's which. And then some hose storage here. And then a few more items up top, your plug-in. Black tank flush, cable satellite hookup for when you're at the campsite, and your city water connection. On this side is where you're going to find most of your storage. You know, we're utilizing the space in the slide out. It's a nice toolbox size storage just to give you a little bit more out here. And then your biggest bay is right underneath here. Good size storage. Back on the left, you can see it kind of dips back behind the door quite a bit. And then you have another bay. And that's going to go out about seven inches on each side uh, behind the door. As we head into the coach, there's a few items to show you at the entrance. Uh, first off, a big upgrade with all Dynamax products is that you're going to have AGM maintenance-free batteries. Okay, that means no adding distilled water to watch the electrolyte level because they're completely sealed. And they last two to three times longer and they can cycle deeper down to 20%. Further to help you from draining your batteries and damaging them, we also offer two 100 watt solar panels that will flex to your roof and the job of those solar panels is to keep those coach batteries topped off to make sure you realize that longer life cycle. Okay. Another cool feature of the Isada 3 Series is the built in uh, blind that you get with this store. You'll have blackout roller shades throughout the rest of the coach for the other window. As we look at the different control panels as you walk into the coach. Uh, first, you'll notice you do have a 1,000 watt pure sine wave inverter on board. That's going to invert the GFI circuits in your kitchen and bathroom, as well as both TVs. This unit is equipped with those solar panels, so there's your uh, solar output. Nice thing is it's giving you a, a digital readout of your batteries then. What comes standard with the ISADA 3 Series is the two-point stabilizer system. That's an electronic system with independent buttons. Uh, but what you can do with the Dynamax is actually upgrade to the equalizer four-point automatic leveling jacks. Okay, you press a button and that's gonna auto-level your coach, saving you, you know, the 15, 20 minutes uh, that you'd otherwise have to level your coach when you get at the campsite. This will also be where your control panel is for your Truma on-demand water heater. And then, as you look here, you're gonna notice that you can do your entry lights here, porch light, your battery disconnect, water heater, step override, and then your awning in and out and awning lights, as well as your generator start. Okay. As you step inside the 24FW, you can easily see why it's a bestseller. The full wall slides can give you a lot of uh, open space. We have the deepest slides in the industry, so the open concept feel is definitely there. You have a walk around queen bed as well as a really nice size bathroom to go with that. And then you have nice large windows as well, so you get a lot of natural light coming into your campsite when you're out and about. This unit is equipped with the optional cab over bunk. The nice thing about this cab over is it's a true full size bed. So great size for sleeping. You know, you get USB ports, normal outlets, as well as access to lights from up there. But it's also great for storage. And 24 feet, you're always looking for more storage. So that's why we see a lot of folks go with this. The natural light you get too is nice because we actually uh, put windows on each side of the cab over bunk bed. 
As we look up at the ceiling, you'll notice it's a soft touch vinyl ceiling. The nice thing about soft touch vinyl is, you know, it's better acoustics in here, it adds insulation to your roof, and it's also easier to keep clean. The pretty little LED lights are unique to Dynamax. Folks tend to really like that. Power roof vents. We try to save you aftermarket, uh, save you from aftermarket purchases with these Max Air vents. In the 24FW, you're going to find three of those. They have built-in rain covers that come standard, and they work with remotes. So, you know, on a rainy day, you don't have to be running your generator and your AC all the time. You turn these on, tilt out your frameless windows, and you're going to fluctuate air pretty well throughout your coach. We also upgrade your air conditioner standard, 15,000 BTUs with a heat strip. And like I was saying at the beginning of the video, if you look through our ductwork, you'll see that it's aluminum line instead of styrofoam. So you're not going to get those little, uh, you know, they call it, you know, snowflakes coming down from your ductwork then because of that. 32 inch TV comes standard in the living area as well as in the bedroom. And then here's your stereo system that you can uh, pair through Bluetooth so you can operate inside and outside the coach, the different speakers that go with that. It's a very well appointed galley. We do some upgrades. You're going to find uh, solid surface countertops. This is a high traffic area, so we wanted to stay away from laminate here. A nice deep stainless steel bowl sink with split cover. That way you have access to the sink, but yet still have this countertop space uh, for when you're prepping your food. Three burner cooktop versus two, a lot of the competition. All hidden hinges in our cabinetry throughout. And then also soft closed drawer guides. Okay, the nice thing about soft closed drawer guides, yeah, they're a high end residential feature, but they seal really well, so you're not gonna have drawers rattling around. The Lia Toe Kick is also a nice feature with this product. You'll have a convection microwave oven up here and a nice big fridge, seven cubic feet versus six of uh, most of our competition. As you step into the bathroom, you'll find a composite toilet with hand sprayer. You know, we just stay away from plastic sinks, so you have a nice stainless steel bowl sink back here, a water filter underneath that sink too. And then with the shower, if you step in here, and I'm a pretty big guy, when I get in here, I really appreciate the radius rod on the shower door, just giving me a little bit more space when I'm in here. We also upgrade your shower head to save you another aftermarket purchase. This is an Oxygenix uh, body spa, RV shower head to increase your uh, pressure when you're at the campsite. We also include a couple hooks here uh, for your towels. Now, as we step into the bedroom, it is that RV queen mattress, so it's 60 by 74 inches but we have upgraded the mattress too. This is a gel infused memory foam designed to keep you cool at night rather than heating you up. So it's the comfort of memory foam, but these little gel beads are gonna allow greater airflow through the mattress uh, on those hot summer nights. More storage underneath here. Again, you're always looking for more storage in a 24 footer. You find USBs as well as normal outlets on each side of your bed. On this side of the bed, you do have a nightstand, but over here you do not. So we've had a lot of requests for you know a cubby hole back here so we actually designed a space here a lot of folks have CPAP machines it's a good place for those things to go okay in the closet you'll find uh, that the wardrobe is cedar lined as well as your drawers you know to keep bugs out of the coach then what's also unique is that you actually have a motion activated light inside of your closet as well behind you over here is that 32 inch TV that just slides right off of its mount and you can mount it outside then, uh, you know, to watch the game and grill out. Besides the wardrobe and drawers, you're gonna have a little bit more storage here as well. Birch wood constructed pull out boxes that are also on the soft closed drawer guides. And then we leave this one blank so that you can determine how best to use it. If you need more hanging space, you want more drawers or you want shelving, uh, you'll be able to determine that. This unit is equipped with the theater seat option Nice thing about the theater seats in the Exada 3 Series, you do get this center console, so you get some nice deep storage there. The built-in cup holders, and then when you are sitting down, you have these removable grommeting tables. Kind of act as a TV tray for your plate. Very comfortable seating. They do fully recline back, so you know can relax and watch the movie on a rainy day. You also find USB ports uh, littered throughout the coach, including right here, as well as normal GFI outlet and then you know a cool thing that our GM thought of was removable balances that way you're not stuck with what we thought looked uh, pretty in here 
you know, you can go to Joann's, pick out your own fabric, and, you know, make this your own. We will head into the cockpit next. As you step into the cab, I wanted to show you a couple of things. The two mattresses here stack up really well. That way you don't have a head knocker if you're getting in and out of the cab. Both of the seats swivel around, and then we option these booster cushions. These booster cushions are just gonna, you know, make sure that your knees aren't in your chest while you're sitting here. Gives you a couple extra seats in a 24 footer, which makes it nice. As you look into the actual cab itself, you'll notice you have an Isada logoed, you know, automotive cab carpet. And then as you look at the dash and the door handles, that's actually hydrographics, not stickers. So you're not gonna have these stickers peeling on you. Uh, it's a permanent hot water imaging. The smart wheel here, you're gonna have access to uh, your dash displays there and then volume to your stereo system. We're gonna do a separate video on this Kenwood head unit, uh, but uh, some of the highlights are the fact that it is Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which you'll plug into here. Your side view and backup cameras will also display here and you have a designated backup camera button so that when you're driving down the road, you will be able to see what's behind you. This unit's also equipped with the front dash camera. That'll be, uh, you know, record DVR video. You know, if you are nudged, it's gonna record that video as well as act as a forward collision warning alert system. Uh, you'll set your horizon lines and it'll beep at you and uh, let you know if you're getting too close. As we finish up our walkthrough, we thought we'd loop back around, give you a closer look at some of the items we might have brushed over as we were walking through. First is the countertop extension you see here, just to give you that extra countertop space as you're prepping materials for you know your different meals. But also just wanted to show you the storage that you get in your kitchen. Open these up, show you the shelves that you get there as well. And then one thing that we didn't show you, you know, with the open concept feel. There might be times when, you know, mama wants to go back and uh, take a nap and kind of feel like she has her own space. So we do have this privacy partition to where you can close it off and uh, get away from each other for a little bit. So I want to show you those last couple items. You know, we're doing this on the fly here with our walkthroughs, so didn't want to brush over those items too much. Thanks for your time. We appreciate your consideration of Dynamax products and hope you have a good one.